I just finished this wireless briefcase with this combination lock, my Hampton classic combination lock with a round lock, um, double straps, all brass hardware, chestnut English bridal leather. This thing looks beautiful. If you want to see some better still shots, I always post them on my uh, my Facebook page, my personal one, not the um, the business page. I uh, don't really do much with that. I usually just do my, you know, when there's a sale, I'll throw it on the, the business. But go find me on my personal page, Joseph Marcelino, um, and you'll see. I always uh, post these new styles. When I do something new, I, I post a lot there. If you want to see some of my stuff and better images, go to there. Um, but for now, here is the uh, a double gusset. It's, uh, it's my English... Um, style my Alfred Wallace uh, briefcase in chestnut and um, it came out beautiful double gusset like I said you got the wraparound straps uh, they come off you could just use this without the straps and just the lock if you wanted um, that's that's fine if you want that uh, that I guess that English look you put some straps on it and also it just helps to secure it Makes it look really nice, really elegant, really professional. This is just a classic style. You got your rings on the top, bolted down, really secure, really stiff, really firm, um, and lightweight. I, I think these, for, for what they are, this is suede lining I'll show you in a second. It's, it's pretty light. Um, it's not a feather, but it's not a brick. All right, so here's uh, the shoulder strap also. Nice brass hardware, double lined, um, polished edges, just really, you know, um, I, I work on these edges. They, they do take some time just to get them right, to get them nice and thick coated. But when they are done, I think they just really make the bag look great. Um, there's many ways we could do edges, burnishing them, just leave them open and raw. I think that's the most durable, but if you want something more refined, we could just dye them just as durable. But if you want something uh, really nice and refined and, and just looks good, this is the way to go. They're, um, they're actually coated with, with a rubbery uh, coating paint and uh, just feels great and just makes the leather finished. All right, so, um, so here's the straps. Like I said, they're removable. If you've never used a briefcase like this, I like the ones that go around. They, you know, the bag still stands up fine um, with the straps going around. And as this one breaks in, they will soften up and they will be fine. It also helps as a barrier, I think, underneath because you're not touching the edges. Um, when you put the, the bag down, you're actually putting it down on the straps. Something happens, we can always change the straps. That's easy because they are removable. It just comes right off. I don't want to take them off because they're just annoying to, um, to re-strap and put around. But it's, it's not that big of a deal. goes through this loop, then around, into the newspaper pocket, then out, then above the top, and then it's there. Like I said, this is double line, so it's, it's durable. It's not going to curl up on you. Um, and then you got your lock, your combination lock. Love this lock. This is the, uh, the round style. It comes in um, palladium, comes in brass, as you see. It also comes in a square top and a, and a square bottom. Um, and I do this in the, in the English round lock. I also have an alpha lock that's not a combination. It's just a, a push, uh, push down and you get multi-levels. So we could do... Um, different sorts of locks if you want. All right, so with this, this is uh, lined in English toast, which is just awesome. An awesome color that goes great with uh, the chestnut. And, uh, and here's the inside. I'm gonna take that stuff out. I photograph the inside really nice without this stuff. Um, I like to put this stuff in the beginning. It helps to keep the, the structure. By the time you get this briefcase from, from, from me, you don't need this. You toss it. So I put them on the corners. Just let it sit for a couple days right after I make them. Just to keep the corners nice and, uh, you know, nice and, and formed. You also want to push 
this um, this leather out. So that's why I put them in the corner. I'm not going to take them out. I did photograph this really nice, and I put it on my Facebook. Without that, um, you can see. You know, I, I lit the inside, so you could see it a whole lot better. But double gussets. I, I usually put the the uh, pockets um, on the middle divider, and uh, and that's it. Basic. I, um, a lot of times I'll wrap the edges or I'll just leave the edges unwrapped, just like this. It depends on preference. Most of the time I will wrap the edges, just finishes it, makes it look nice. Or um, I get requests to just leave the edges um, just polished, just like, just like this, uh, these edges. Just I guess it looks much more uniform, but I like the way it looks when the edges are wrapped. And, it, and the way it feels as well, and, and I think it's it's m more durable. Obviously, you, you don't have the paint or anything. You got the, the leather wrapping. All right, so this is the Alfred Wallace style in chestnut and English toast suede lining. It's got the round classic combination lock. I call this the Hampton clock lock. These locks are very well built. They're Italian made, made out of brass parts. And um, it just it sets like a like a key. It sets like a clock. So if you wanted a set, um, if you have a time that that means something to you at uh, 3:53, you set the big, the small hand with the hour and the big uh, dial with the minutes at 3:53. That would be your combination for now on to get in and out of this bag. You don't need to set it. You could leave it as it is. It comes default at 12, 12 high noon, and it just opens by pushing this button. That's it. You can either just push that down and just open it like that. It's up to you. You just push that in. Alright, so um, and another trick with the straps, if you don't use the straps a lot, say throughout the day, um, you could just leave them in the loops. I mean, yeah, in the keeps. Just like that. And it's fine because the lock is what's closing this. It's not pulling on the straps. The handle is not pulling on the straps. And you find it's like that. Alright, so this is the uh, Alfred Wallace with the clock lock.